Hey everyone, it's Christy over at Crafty Christy's Creations. So today I am uh, checking out fontbundles.net and I am going to show you how to choose a font and upload that into Silhouette Studio. So I've gone ahead and chosen this Baby Brooklyn font and right now it's a free download over at fontbundles.net. And I've already hit the free download button and then I'm on a Windows computer and it will show down it will show up down here and it's in a zip file. So once that's done downloading, you can click right on it. And then it's gonna open up in my font uh, in my downloads file. So I'm gonna hit extract all. And um, I try to keep all my fonts together. So I'm going to come over to my fonts uh, folder and it uh, looks like I need to make a new one here. And this is from, oh no, it is right here, fontbundles.net. So I'm going to select that folder and then I'm going to put, put all of these files into that folder. That way I know where my fonts are from and I just like to keep them organized that way. And now it's downloaded and it's um, automatically opening up into the folder where I downloaded it. And here it is, Baby Brooklyn. So I'm going to open up that folder. And you can see here we've got um, medium, we've got an open type and a true type. And then here's some shortcuts. And then they have your premium license, which explains what you can and can't do with this font. But I'm going to go ahead and with this one, um, I do the true type font. I'm going to right click and hit install. And doing this is actually going to install it on my computer. So that means I, it will automatically appear in anywhere on my computer that uses fonts. So um, Microsoft Word, Silhouette Studio, anything like that. So now that it's gone ahead and um, it's downloading or I should say it's installing the font. I can close out all of these and we can open Silhouette Studio. And with Silhouette Studio open, I can come over here and write something out and I'm going to just put the name of the font. Okay, and then you can grab it Come up here to the top and find the name of the font that you just added. And there it is. Give this a little fill color just so you can see it better. So that is how easy it is uh, to go ahead and install a font into Silhouette Studio. And um, like I said, this will now show up since I installed the font to my computer, Microsoft Word or anywhere else that uses fonts will go ahead and um, have that font installed since you installed it onto your computer. So um, other things to note about this, if you are using Silhouette Studio and multiple computers, the font will only be installed to your computer, not to your actual Silhouette Studio account. I believe the only fonts that you can um, do that, if you wanted to install it into your Silhouette Studio account, I think the only ones that can do that are the ones that you find from the Silhouette Store, and those will automatically download into your library. So there you have it. That's how you can add some new fonts. Um, lots of free fonts can be found. Like I said, I got this one from fontbundles.net. There's lots of places. So check them out and have fun experimenting with new fonts. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future Silhouette Studio tutorials. Until next time, with love, Crafty Christy.